In vitro fertilization, or IVF, is an advanced technique for getting pregnant and has become the most commonly performed ultimate infertility treatment in the world. In the laboratory, the egg is fertilized by placing many sperm around it or injecting a single sperm directly into it. The fertilized egg develops into an embryo, which is then placed back in the womb. You can use your own eggs and partner sperm, or use a combination of donor sperm and or eggs. There are many possible choices with IVF that are used, depending on your specific situation. The most common technique of IVF includes Number 1. About 2 weeks of hormones to control your menstrual cycle. Number 2. About 12 days of hormones to stimulate the release of several eggs. Number 3. Monitoring with ultrasound and blood tests to determine timing of egg collection. Number 4. Collection of sperm from male partner, ideally at the same time eggs are being collected. Number 5. Collection of as many eggs as possible from both ovaries from the sedated female partner. Number 6. In the laboratory, the eggs and sperm are mixed and fertilization typically occurs within 24 hours. Number 7. Fertilized eggs are cultured in the lab for 2-6 to six days, depending on your specific need. Number 8. Between 1 and 3 embryos, or blastocysts, groups of developing cells, are then transferred back into the woman's uterus. Two weeks later, a pregnancy test will hopefully show that you are pregnant. IVF has become one of the preferred treatment options because even if the woman's fallopian tubes are blocked or missing, you can still get pregnant. Even if the man has low sperm count or the woman has severe endometriosis, you can still get pregnant. In fact, if artificial insemination or IUI has failed or a couple has simply experienced unexplained infertility, IVF can result in a successful pregnancy. The final benefit of IVF is that if couples want to test for inherited disorders, with IVF, the test can be confirmed before the embryos are transferred back to the womb. Other variations on IVF include mild stimulation IVF and natural cycle IVF, both of which have lower success rates but may be appropriate for your circumstances. ARC is here to help and assist you at every step of the way.